Hey, this is Paul from Wondershare Mobile Trans and recently we had this message where someone asked us that they'd recently bought a new Samsung and they wanted to transfer their WhatsApp chats from an iPhone over to that Samsung device. And if you've just gone and bought a brand new Galaxy S21, then you might be having this problem as well, where you want to move from an iPhone, but you want to keep hold of your WhatsApp messages. So in this video, our plan is to show you a couple of methods on how to keep and move that WhatsApp data from your iPhone over to that brand new Samsung Galaxy S21. Let's get straight into method one. And first of all, we'll show you a dedicated tool called Mobile Trans that helps you move all of your WhatsApp data from an iPhone over to a Samsung. The software can move a lot of different types of data, but for this exact example, we are gonna look at it moving over the WhatsApp data from an iPhone over to an Android, and in this case, the Galaxy S21. You'll need to go and download the Mobile Trans software first of all, and then once you have done that, you then just need to launch it on your desktop. And from that home menu, go to the WhatsApp transfer option. This will provide you different options for apps like Line and Viber and WeChat, etc on that sidebar but here you need to select whatsapp and then from here choose the feature to transfer whatsapp messages there are also options to backup and restore your whatsapp chats here as well now connect your existing iphone and the new samsung s21 to your computer and wait for just a little while while the application mobile trans will then detect them a snapshot of both of the devices will be displayed and they will be marked as either the source or destination device you just need to make sure that that source and destination device are in the right place. So your iPhone should be the source and the Galaxy S21 should be the destination. And if that's not the case, there is a little handy flip button just in the top middle there that will swap around the devices to the correct places. Once everything is in the correct position, you then just need to go and make sure you click start in the bottom right corner. Then this will start the process of moving that WhatsApp data from your iPhone over to your Galaxy S21. And it should only take a couple of minutes, but make sure for the whole process that both of your devices are still connected to the computer. At the end of this process, the application will let you know when all of that data from your iPhone has been transferred over to that brand new Galaxy S21. So once it's completed, open up WhatsApp on the Galaxy S21 and you will have all of your chats there. If you want to go and use something which is a native app, then Samsung Smart Switch is something that you might want to have a look at. This lets you move data from an iOS device over to an Android device or the Galaxy S21, and you can do it through either a USB cable or you can do it by using iCloud. The app is really good at moving things like contacts, photos, call logs, notes, and all of that stuff. But sometimes there are some complaints that it is not very good at moving WhatsApp data, but we will give you the methods on how to do it just in case this is something that works for you. You first of all need to download and then open that smart switch app on your Galaxy phone and then open it up and then select the method that is good for you, either wireless or USB. If you choose that USB option, just make sure you have that adapter that will help you connect the two phones together. If you don't have that, then it's probably easier to go and click the wireless method. On the target Samsung phone, you'll then be asked how you want to move that data over to the Samsung. So here is where you can click if you want to transfer data over from storage or from the cloud. If you choose the iPhone storage option, then you'll get a message that will pop up on your screen. Here, you just need to select trust and that will connect the phone to the Samsung phone securely. If you select the iCloud option, you'll then have to log into iCloud using your Apple ID and your password. Then just select the type of data that you want to move over from the iPhone over to the Samsung device. And then all of that data that you selected will have moved right across over. If you don't want to save all of your chats and it's just a handful of chats that you want to save, then you can actually email those chats over to yourself. If you use this option, it doesn't technically allow you to carry on using those chat threads from an iPhone to a Samsung phone. What it does instead is it takes a snapshot of those chats as you selected them and then then we'll email those chats over to yourself in your email so you can have a look back and you can have a look at what was said in those chats, but you cannot carry on the thread. Just launch WhatsApp on your phone and select the conversation that you want to save. Here is where you can go and select a more option and then this will give you a lot of different options and one of those options is
is to send the chat to yourself via email. This then gives you an option whether you want to include or exclude the media that has been sent in that thread. And sometimes a lot of email providers like Gmail only have a really small 25 megabyte limit on things like data. So maybe it might be handy to not transfer some of the media that had been sent on the chat. Once you've selected all the relevant options, you will then get an email pop-up and then this is where you enter your own email address and then it will send that message over to you. Then you can go onto Gmail on your Samsung phone and you can retrieve that WhatsApp chat over there. The next method is to use something called Backup Trans and this gives you another option to help move those WhatsApp chats. You can either move every single chat that you have from iPhone to Samsung or you can select just individual chats that you want to keep and move over. The app is actually really easy to use and doesn't need any sort of routing or jailbreaking. You can actually move over quite a bit of data with it. So you can move over things like media files and contacts and other things that are linked to WhatsApp. Let me show you though how you can do this and move that from an iPhone over to a Samsung with these really easy methods. So first of all, install Backup Trans to your computer and then make sure that both of your devices are connected to that computer and then you just need to select Trust when that option appears. Once the application asks you to back up your data, make sure you agree to that and then that software will save your WhatsApp data. Afterwards, you can even go to the sidebar and you can preview that WhatsApp data that has just been saved. Whether you wish to transfer your data, just select the device's icon from the sidebar and right click it from the context menu. Click on transfer messages from iPhone to Android to move the entire backup data. If you wish to only move selected chats, then expand the backup content and just select the conversations you wish to move. Here, you can then right click and get to the context menu and click on transfer messages with this contact to Android instead. Later, you can then open up WhatsApp on your Galaxy S21 and then see the result of those contacts and chats having moved over. The final option here is to use an app called WhatsApp Migrator and that should help you transfer your WhatsApp data from iPhone to Samsung. And there are not many methods to it, so let me tell you how you can do that. Firstly, you need to connect your iPhone to your computer and then open up iTunes and create a backup of your most current iPhone. Just make sure you click backup now and make sure it's backed up to the computer instead of iCloud. Now, this is where you install the WhatsApp Migrator Extractor desktop application on your computer and launch it. From here, you can load the most recently taken iTunes backup and extract it. Once that is extracted, you can then save it either to your local storage or why not save it to your Google Drive? If you select your local system for that to be saved, then go and get your Samsung S21 and connect it to your computer. Then just manually move the chat storage.sqlite file to downloads folder on your phone storage. After moving that over, then just download that WhatsApp migrated tool onto your Samsung phone and select recently transferred iPhone backup. This will extract that backup onto the phone and those WhatsApp chats, and then you can sort that out with WhatsApp later on. There we go, some methods there to help you take your data from an iPhone over to your brand new Galaxy S21. So if this helped you, let us know in the comments below. And remember the unboxing video, the link to that is in the description if you have missed it. So if you enjoyed the video, why not subscribe? And we will see you in the next one.